Amen. This is the day he's made. Let's rejoice and be glad. Don't just rejoice. Don't just be glad. Be both. Do both. He's so mindful of us. He shows us all kinds of grace and mercy. What a time. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Turn to Luke chapter 24. Heavenly Fathers, we come before you, we thank you, and we praise you so much, Lord, for who you are and for what you've done. And Father, for the word that we have tonight, Lord, we just pray that it would that it would settle on fertile ground, that it would root, take root, and grow and bear fruit. We thank you for it. Father, help us to listen to your word. Help us to hide it into our hearts that we might not sin against you. Father, thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love, for your kindness. We, we magnify you tonight. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Going to do a lot of reading tonight. Going to kind of let the word speak for itself. It doesn't need me. Thank you. It doesn't need extra. Amen. Chapter 24, verse 1. This is uh, right after Jesus was buried, about three days after he died, hint, hint. I want to want to pay attention, close attention to the way people are acting and be careful that we don't become one of them now upon the first day of the week very early in the morning they came into the sepulcher bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them and they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher and they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus and it came to pass, as they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Point number one, why were they perplexed? Jesus done told them what was going to happen. He done, I mean, spoiler alert, and they knew about it. He talked about it. He explained it to them. Different ones had preached it. The prophets talked about it. Disciples went around talking about it. He's going to die, but he's going to come back. He's going to rise again on the third day. But still yet, they're perplexed. How are we when Jesus does what he says he's going to do? Are you amazed when you get healed? Does it surprise you when you get healed? That's what the stripes were for. Are you surprised? Are you surprised when he shows up when you're lonely, when you're not feeling good, when things are mounting? Are you surprised when he shows up? <laughs> two men stood by them in shining garments and as they were afraid by the way as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth they said unto them why seek ye the living among the dead what are you doing You just imagine Jesus saying, y'all know better. 
What are you doing? He said he was going to rise on the third day. He said he was coming back. It's three days later. What are you expecting? I'm going to go take my spices to the body. Do like we've always done. Do what we know to do. Where's the expectation? Where's the rejoicing? And again, I say rejoice. Where's, where's the, the anticipation? Looking forward to when? I know it's the third day, but what time that day? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Here's your answer, verse 6. He's not here. But he is risen, like he said. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again? <laughs> and they remembered his words. Oh, yeah. You ever have an aha moment? <laughs> Going through life, you're just plugging away, doing the best you can. Oh, yeah, I'm a Christian. Oh, yeah, I can call on God. Oh, yeah, never leave, never forsake. Oh, yeah, benefits, daily, loaded. That's me. Oh, yeah. And then you can say, oh, yeah. And returned from the sepulcher and told all these things to the eleven and to all the rest. It was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary, the mother of James, and other women that were with them which told these things unto the apostles. Now you'd think that'd be enough people, enough witnesses, all having the same story. Guess what? And their words seemed... To them as idle tales, and they believe them not. So, do we get that way? Jesus said it. Let's take healing, for example. Jesus said, by, by his stripes, we're healed. Jesus took the stripes, which by where we are healed. Okay? We know this. We hear witness of it. Testimony after testimony. Cancer's healed. Pain's healed. Victories. You know, whatever. Things are healing. Do we still not believe it? Then rose Peter. They <laughs> then rose Peter. I'm going to go check it out. I'm going to go find out. He didn't just mosey down there. He didn't just, I'll get there as soon as, as soon as I feel like it. He ran down there, ran into the sepulcher, and stood <laughs> stooping down. <laughs> See, my mind, my mind goes to, to cartoon figures. He was wanting to get there in a hurry, so his legs got there before he did. Then he's stooping down, checking it out. He beheld the linen clothes laid by themselves and departed, wondering in himself at, which, at that which was come to pass. What's going on here? Okay, got Jesus himself had talked about it for however long. Now he got all these witnesses rushed back and they all told their stories, and he's still, what's going on? Just ain't getting it. See, sometimes we just don't get it. Is it because we're not paying attention? Is it because we're not believing enough? Where's the faith at? We're, what's going on? That's what we're wondering. What's going on? Why am I not feeling his presence?
Doesn't matter anyway. Might as well go to the house. Liven up! Pay attention. Do you know who you are? Have you heard what Jesus has said? Have you not heard the witnesses? And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem, about threescore furlongs. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. Can you imagine that conversation? I'm not even going to try, but can you imagine that conversation? And it came to pass that while they communed together and reasoned, <laughs> they had it figured out. While they communed together and reasoned, Jesus himself drew near and went with them. Don't mind if I do. And they didn't even realize it. Their eyes were holding that they should not know him. And he said unto them, What manner of, of communication are these that they, that they have one to another? As you walk and are sad. In other words, what's going on? What are you sad about? <laughs> and one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass? Do you not know what's going on? Who? Where have you been? And he said unto them, what things? Talk to me. What are you thinking? What are you reasoning? Explain it to me. Talk to me. And they said unto him concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet, mighty in deed and word before God and all the people, and how the chief priest and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death, and have crucified him. But we trusted that it had been he which would have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today's the third day. They, they just weren't getting it. It just, they're even, and this is the third day. Yeah, it's the third day. Hello. Do we get that way sometimes? Because we reason together. We figure it out. Oh, well. Then we get to a point where, what's going on? Might as well, where am I? Am I falling over? Where's Jesus at? He didn't leave you. You walked off. He didn't abandon you. You walked off. He said he would never leave. He hadn't. He's promised. Yea, and a certain woman, also of our company, <laughs> made us astonished, which were early at the sepulcher. And when they found not his body, they came saying, that they have also seen a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. Amen. And certain of them, which were with us, went to the sepulcher. <laughs> certain of them went to the sepulcher and found, even so as the woman had said. But him they saw not. And he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart, to believe all that the prophets had spoken? How long is it going to take you to figure it out? How long is it going to take you to just believe? He says it. I believe it. It's all I need. How long is it going to take? Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? Didn't I tell you? And beginning at Moses... And all the prophets, he expounded unto them, again, 
in all the scriptures the things that the things concerning himself. And they drew nigh unto the village whither they went. And he made as though he was going to go further, but they constrained him, saying, Abide with us, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it, and brake, and gave it to them. And their eyes were open, and they knew him. Oh. Oh. But guess what? And he vanished out of their sight. Mm. So close. He was right here. When the water is troubled, when his presence is moving, now's the time. Not to be wondering, not to be reasoning, not to be trying to figure it out, or what do I do? Well, God didn't tell me to testify. Well, God didn't tell me to go to the altar. Now's the time for action. Get up, go to the altar. Lord, is there anything? Is there anything that you would have me do, have me say? Is there anything you want to say to me? Is there anything I can offer? Anyone I can pray for? I can do that at my seat. Yep, you can. But when the water's troubled, it's the one that got in that got something. Come be a part. Because you know it works. His promises work every time. We may have to <laughs> wonder why it's taking so long. I've prayed this for 10 years. I've prayed this for 20 years. I've prayed this. Then believe. Having done all to stand, stand there. <laughs> what am I going to do standing there? To the top of your lungs? So, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Right. I'm redeemed. I'm blood bought. Amen. I'm a child. Right. He loves me. He died for me. Right. He rose for me. Right. He's given me power, authority. If you'll read it, it's in there. He's given you, given you. All you have to do is accept. Believe him at his word and accept. And he vanished out of their sight. And they said to one another, <laughs> did not our hearts burn within us? Amen. While he talked with us, by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures, and they rose up that same hour. Let's go do something. Go and tell somebody what the Lord's done, what he's doing. And returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and them that were with them, saying, The Lord is risen indeed and hath appeared to Simon. And they told all what things were done in the way and how he was known of them in breaking bread. And as they spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. Amen. Now, wouldn't that just be cool? They jumped up and had to go tell everybody, Guys, guess what? We had this move at church. Jesus was speaking to people. There was tongues interpretation going on, people being healed and saved and delivered. And, oh, we heard all this stuff, and then all of a sudden, peace. Be unto you. <gasps> oh, Jesus. And there he is. Can you imagine? <laughs> they couldn't either. 37. But they were terrified and frightened. 
and supposed they had seen a spirit. You think? This is Jesus. The one that had been with them. Their friend. Their savior. And he said to them, why are you troubled? Why do thoughts arise or doubts arise in your hearts? Why is this stuff going on? Verse 39 breaks my heart. He's got to prove it to him. He's got to prove who he is. Behold my hands and my feet, that it is I, myself. Handle me and see, for a spirit hath not flesh and bones, as ye see me have. It's really me, guys. I'm really here. I really did what I said I was going to do, and now I'm here. And when he had thus spoken, he showed him his hands and his feet. And while they yet believed not for joy and wondered, he said unto them, Have you here any meat? And they gave unto him a piece of broiled fish and of a honeycomb. And he took it and did eat before him. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you. You remember, while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled, which were written in the law of Moses, and in the prophets, and in the Psalms concerning me. And then opened he their understanding. Oh, that they might understand the scriptures. And he said unto them, Thus it is written, and thus it behooved Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sin should be preached. Look at me preaching about preaching. In his name, among all nations, beginning at Jerusalem. And ye are witness of these. Ye are witnesses of these. You've seen it. Whatsoever things you've seen, heard, learned, received, do. Go do something with it. Go share it. And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you, but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. Okay, we can. (laughs) This is exciting stuff. And he led them out as far as to Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. And it came to pass, while he blessed them, he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. And they worshiped him. And returned to Jerusalem with great joy. Just a few minutes ago, just a little bit ago, they were scared. Frightened. Troubled. Now, Jesus left them as they worshipped. Now they have great joy. And they were continually in the temple. Continually in the temple, praising and blessing God. Amen. Amen. Do we know things? Jesus has told us a lot of things. We know things. We know stuff. We know good stuff. We know bad stuff can happen if we don't stick to the good stuff. We know things. We know who we are through the word. He's taught us this. He's shown us this. We've heard 
testimonies. We've heard preacher after preacher after preacher after preacher preach the word. We know this. Why do we get surprised? Why do we get perplexed? Why do troubles trouble us? Are you troubled with troubles? Sound like an infomercial. <laughs> Don't be because you know better. I know. Jesus said, in this world, there's going to come stuff. Stuff's going to happen. But be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. I've overcome the world. And that one that's overcome the world is now part of me. You know what that makes me? An overcomer, more than a conqueror. Because I'm in him, and he's in me. <laughs> Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. We got this. We got this. We can pray for one another. We can believe for one another. We are the body. Amen. Amen. We can support one another. Even though we may be far apart, we can still support. We can still be there. Amen. Let's find us a place to pray. Let's just ask the Lord to help our remembrance, to bring those things that we know to the forefront so we can use those things we know. Let's pray.